Hello and welcome to this new weekly vlog. My name's Nicola if you're new here, if you're not welcome back. Sun is shining at the moment but it is supposed to rain later so we need to do a few things outside today and I will show you that. But at the moment Mark is sorting out Holly's ceiling light because um, we're changing it for another one, the one I showed you last week. Oh my goodness, it's hanging. It's hanging. So this was her old one that we'll take to the charity shop. And um, the new one is this shade here. So he's got to put in this pendant. I don't know if we've got one of them bulbs. Shall I go and check? Uh, what is it? Is it a screwing or a pushing? Uh, push oh yeah, pushing. I'll go and see if we've got one. What max wattage is it? Does it say on here? 21 watt. Is that all? That's the low voltage ones, isn't it? Oh, we might oh, not have one of them. I'll go and have a look and see if we've got one. Right, discovered when I went to water this, look. <laughs> They're a bit dead. So this can be, I'm going to empty it and that can be a spare plant pot. Um, look at my dafts, look how pretty they are. And they've got the two pence piece in the bottom of the water which makes them last longer, I don't know why. Now I wanted to show you this, this was in our bedroom and it's where the bookcases are going, the bookshelves I mean. So I think, I, I love it because it's just memories, you know. <laughs> look at Bobby's face. <laughs> and <Mark's. laughs> and how funny to think back on that day I felt like really fat and now I look at me and think oh can I be that slim again so it's just the way you feel on certain days isn't it and this was um the girls with our friends um children when we went to Butlins one time there's Poppy with Spud from Bob the Builder and Poppy absolutely loved Dude from the Skyline Gang. So we had this little costume made up for her. And she absolutely loved it. She wore it every day we were there. And there's Holly with Angelina Ballerina. So, yeah, we're. Um, I'm going to put this, I think, up in the studio. So we're going to do that now. We'll find a place for it. Right, here we are. We've got... I've got one Christmas present left to give out because we haven't seen them yet. So now I've got to find somewhere for it to go. I don't really want to take down any of these. Um, but these big poster frames, technically one of them could come down. And we don't want to take the, the theatre pictures down because we bought those specially for in here. I mean, she doesn't use that anymore, but I think we'll leave it there because there's a possibility that she could be giving drum lessons when she comes back in the in the summer. So we need to leave that there in case she needs to write anything on there. But I might change this one. Let's have a look. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It goes with the colours from that one as well. It's like nice and bright and colourful. Yeah, that's nice there. So that can stay there so this can go to charity so let's put this out here that's my charity bag there so this is the area sorry if it's really windy on the camera this is the area that we're going to slab hopefully this weekend oh my goodness where's that wind come from um, so we need to dig out some of the bulbs and replant them and slab this we just think it will give us more space to go up to the water butt for watering the garden you know in the summer so that's the project right one ceiling light completed do you want the shade or the bulb shade oh, who? should we take that label off or leave it on mm. oh iron is flopping about Are you annoy or not just take off we know it's, tw what did it say, 21? 21. 21 watt. The bulb I've found is only 14 watt, so we're going to try and get a brighter one because she needs it brighter there, really. It's a nice shade, I like that. 
Oh, and Mark says he's got to fill the little holes. I don't know if you can see them on the top there. Yeah, you can now. Did you have you got your CT1 for them mm -hmm. rope ladders as well? Because on. Wanna... <laughs> this keeps getting bigger, eh? <laughs> One of them fell off. Jesus. Do you know, Donna said, <laughs> Donna said every time um, I find something for you to do, he says, Poor Mark. Yeah, thank you, Donna. No, Paul. I'll oh, be a Paul. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Absolutely Paul, unbelievable. Paul says he can sympathise. Absolutely <laughs> unbelievable, mate. <laughs> You'd be bored otherwise. Oh yeah, I'd be bored. Yeah, sit on my arse watching sport. <laughs> you can go and do that if you want. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> he wouldn't, would you? It's not everyone that can say they've got a shower cap and a, bo a bag of self-raising flour in their bedroom. I mean, and a bot half, well, three quarters drunk bottle of Disarano. It's not going to be as bright as the old ones. The old ones like Blackpool Towers, wasn't it? Illuminations. Was it? Well, the old, the old lot, wasn't it? Their old lot. What that one we yeah. just got rid of? Right. I can't remember how bright it was, but it's, it's more. That's more of a neon on that one, so it's going to be. I think this will be all right if we get a better bulb. Yeah, we'll get a brighter bulb when we're out. Mega bright, anyway. To be fair. No. That's not a very good bowl to be fair, I think. Okay, Seems we'll get another one. We've got to go B&Q anyway. Oh yeah, look forward to it as well. <laughs> you love B&Q. Actually, actually. B&Q is your favourite shop. You can go in your super drug and I'll go in here. Uh... Okay. Now I'll come with you because I don't trust you otherwise. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> yeah. Is that like a yellow light though? Sorry? It looks like a yellow light. It's what they call warm, isn't it? Rather than cool. I'm not sure if it would be better with a like a, a white light yeah. rather than a yellow, the warm one, do you think? I don't know, yeah, whatever. We could try it, the couldn't we? One, obviously the other one was more of a white light. Yeah. Depends how much light you want in here, I don't know. Well, only when she does her makeup when she stays, which isn't very often. No. <laughs> to be honest. Right, well, I'm just going to take these books off so they don't get covered in uh, brick dust. I think we could do with the duster, Mark, just to get that cobweb off up there. Or feather duster, maybe. Of course I've got all the Harry Potter books. Oh, you want it? <laughs> um, I would say, yeah, about there. That's fine. Yeah. What do you want? My trousers. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his work trousers with his stuff in. Right, Harry Potter books. And two parenting hell books because I had one. I'm going to read this again in the summer, I think. I had one that um, I had on the actual day of the book signing. Where did they sign it? Oh, there you go. And then... I had the one that I'd already bought. Nicola! So I've got two. <laughs> I should um, auction one off, shouldn't I, Mark? Yeah. Auction one of these is at this one off that hasn't got Nicola in it. Because I don't need two books. But there we go. Let me know. How much would you offer me? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, these as well, I wanted to show you. You know Donna, who I went out with last week on the vlog? This is another one of her series. So she's got Dead in the Water, which I haven't read yet. And I've read this series, which is Hunted. The Undoing, Sacrifice, I don't know which order they're going in, Resurrection. I'll link them in the description for you as well. These are brilliant. They're supernaturally. So if you like that sort of style writing, then definitely go and check out her book. She's very clever. Very clever. Right, Mark's just putting this one up now with my um, autumn mouse getting the right level all done there we go so that was the original one and then these are the two new ones that one's just got all my cuddly toys on it <laughs> I'm gonna fill these now with the books right there we go I haven't got enough books to put up there so that's good because I can get more books and I've got space on the end here so these are the ones that I've got to read. 
these are all the ones I haven't read and then there's Donna's books and all the Harry Potters that's a figurine from Disney we got in 2016 when we went and then I've got room here for more books and then over here I've put my Bridgerton books all together because I will be reading them again at some point and I just put my little picture there at the moment because again there's no books to put there so I think that looks quite cool there yeah pleased with those like my own little book corner Mark's just sticking my um, rope ladders to the actual thing because they keep flying off in the wind Is that like mega super glue or something? Yeah, CT one's brilliant. At least they won't go flying off then. Oh. Bloody gate. <laughs> Gate's banging. Don't do too much. Yeah. At least they're not gonna blow away now. Hopefully not. <laughs> right. So that's that there. You don't want to get a 4.50 in? No. So you have to cut it, won't we? Well, how? I don't know, how do you cut a slab? Well, what? with a grinder, I've got a grinder. Right. So you either get a 300, if they do them there, go along here. Right. And then two 450s. Right. What, and then use some stones for the back? Some stones, well, I'll use stones anyway, because there's going to be a gap of that anyway. There's going to be a gap like that. Right. The back anyway. So we need a bag of stones as well. Stones there anyway. Okay. Oh, it's a bit windy. We're at the garden centre now. What do I do with this? <laughs> Mark loves it, really. <laughs> We're just looking for a wisteria plant because I want one to climb up our trellis in the garden. We need W. Um, and then we're going to get some slabs for that bit. Hopefully we'll do smaller slabs. If not, we we'll have to go somewhere else. What's down here? Uh, Da -da, da -da, da -da. That, so, right, Wisteria isn't here then, so we need to go probably that side to get one in a minute. Right, let's go and find the slabs. Oh my goodness. It's that wind, isn't it? Cuts through you. I love these bee pots. I think they're really pretty. Oh, it's an Eevee. Eevee dog. Oh, they're very white. I can't imagine they stay that white long in a garden. Oh, we need some shingle as well, don't we? Yeah. Like a shingle. Cool. There's all the different types of shingle. This is what we need, just something like that. There's those big slabs again, big sprocks. Were they the 6 99 ones, weren't they, that we were going to get? Oh, look at these mini ones. Tiny ones there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's some smaller ones here, Mark. Yeah, they're the full size, aren't they? Uh, what does it say? It doesn't really tell you. Should have bought... 300 by 300. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trouble is, that's the only issue you got. Is that what you need? Well, wide. Yeah. I still still need the 450 length. Oh. Like this. That would be alright. It's quite nice. It's, it's like a wood effect. You can do it for them if you wanted to. 337 quid though. Quite but they are expensive. But also, that doesn't look like that would cover that area to me. Mean. We won't cover the width, but you only need a little bit for because the idea is it's more for walking down, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's not, but with that, yeah, it's going to give you. I don't think that look very good with the other. No, there. that's the thing, isn't it? I do like it, but because you've got a little one here, look. Yeah, you could it. patch in. So that way, and it'll just be a little bit shorter. That's all. You're only looking at that, that much shorter. Or you can do three of these. Pouring down. 
cut the Well that's gonna be a hard thing to do, isn't it? I just don't think this bit's gonna cover very much. What do you mean in what respect? Like because this is a lot wider than this. Like Yeah, you're gonna have a little bit, like so quite a bit of gravel, yeah. I think it'd be better to do two of these and then a little one. Yeah, but well, the little one's not going to cover what you need. No, but then you could put gravel around the outside of it. Or would that look odd? It would look odd. Oh. Because you need the 300, but you still need... You need 300 here. Yeah. And then 450 that way. Right. So it... Right, no wisteria plants. Apparently they're coming in end of April. So I'm going to go and get one then. And he said... What you want is you want to have one that's flowering so you can see that it's a well established flowering plant, otherwise, it can take up 10 years to get it to flower. So, I'm like, right, okay, so I'll go back um, end of April and get a wisteria then. But we've just got the slabs, Mark's just put them in, we've got some stones, we've gone for the three big ones, and he's gonna have to borrow a grinder off of his boss and grind some of the slab down to make it fit, which could be interesting. Um, now we're going to head off and get some lunch from Greg's, I think, because we're hungry. And go to B&Q. I need a couple of things at Superdrug. And then we can head back and start moving some of the bulbs from that area that we want to slab. And dig out the rest that we don't want. So, yeah, it's absolutely freezing outside. Really, really chilly. We're going to have a car picnic. Oh. Hand gel. There we go. Oh, cool. It's absolutely pouring down outside. It was like hailing, wasn't it, at one point? Yeah. Just when we got in the car. Out, yeah. Right, sausage rolls. Look at that. Look at that. You can't beat a Scrag sausage roll. Oh, I mean, thanks. Okay. Mark's got a steak bake. We're steaming up in here. We look like we're getting up to stuff. Mm-mm. In being q now. Trying to find the electrical section for the light bulb. And what was the other thing? Pendant. No? It's got to be long here somewhere, isn't it? Got to find a black pendant. I don't know if we're going to be lucky, you know. Yeah. Might have to get it off Amazon. Yeah. They're all white, aren't they? Okay. I'm literally looking at light bulbs. It said maximum 21 watt. That's warm white, and I wanted a cool white. Neutral white, but what wattage is that then? Is that screwing? Yeah, it's no good. Oh, too many bulbs. Got one, it's 25 watt, but I think that'll be all right. I don't think there is a bulb that's 21 watt. Don't know what they're talking about. Mark's now finding the sand for the slabs. Got to go outside and get wet. Oh, nice hanging baskets. Oh, look, there's a sheep. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Clearance flowers. Any sand? No. Ah. Horticultural. No. Right, we're back now. Um, I can't show you the bits that I got for Mother's Day for the mums because they will see it before Mother's Day probably. But I also stocked up from Superdrug. I've got this to try. Simple clear pore scrub for um, shine free and smooth skin. Contains witch hazel bone. I'll, I'll let you know how I get on with it. Because I, I swap up my facial. I'll, I'll have to go through my facial skincare routine with you. Because um, I think it's, it's quite a good one at the moment. And then I got two of these because it was buy one get one half price of the Dove summer revive gradual tanning lotion in medium to dark results i've got quite dark toned skin so 
I what I do is I use these this on my legs so once I've shaved my legs I use this and it just gives them a nice glow and like I say it's buy one get one half price so I thought I might as well do that and then I got a simple micellar water to take my makeup off at night because I was running out of my other one it's a shame I couldn't get the other one because it smelled glorious but I thought simple is always a good um, range to get I can show you the chocolates I got for my stepmum because I'm going to see her next week so I will give them to her then with her card but yeah Mark's hoovering if you can hear him and then I think the sun's shining again that is really weird weather today so we might get out and dig some of those bulbs and move those but otherwise we're done for today and Holly's coming over soon as well There's a lot of concrete there. Well, part of this here is for the post here, but right. we need to get a bit away. To get the slab in. Get the slab in, so. But that's done the job, isn't it? I mean, that's frost anyway, isn't it? Yeah, it will be, wouldn't it? Bit of here tomorrow, do the... Excellent job. Now we can get all three slabs in there. Yeah. That'll be covered up with this. What I noticed is this slab, look, has moved over a bit, yeah. so you might have to bang that back yeah. to get the other slab in. But Mark's cleared it all. We replanted the, um, oh, what are they called? I keep wanting to say hydrangeas and they're not. Hyacinths, is it? I think so. <laughs> but yeah, he's done a good job there to get that out. It's silly that why that was like round in a court, like a semicircle bit there. But anyway, it's all out now and ready for the slabs. The slabs we've got here. That we got from the garden centre and um, we were lucky we had a voucher for Christmas so we used that and then we've got some pea shingle to put in the gaps but he needs to get some sand because um, he's got to put some sand down first but there we go that's going to look so much better when that's all paving slabs and then we could just walk up to the water butt and get the water it look much better. Good morning, happy Sunday fun day. 
So this is the brownie mix I've made this morning. Betty Crocker chocolate fudge brownie mix. I got this from Tesco's. Uh, very easy as you saw you just had, I did the one, you've got two options, but I did the 80 grams of melted butter and two eggs. It's come out like this, so I'm just letting it cool down. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. But tonight we've got Holly and Louie round for dinner. We're doing a roast dinner. Uh, roast chicken and roast pork because Louis likes pork so I thought I'd give both options I'm part boiling the parsnips and carrots and then putting them in the oven to roast with like honey and mustard glaze um, and then we've got broccoli green beans roast potatoes part boil them first I'm going to cook the chicken breast in here in the slow cooker and the pork is thin steak so it will be grilled but Mark will do all this lot, you know. <laughs> this is Mark's domain. Well, I will probably have to help with the carrots and parsnips because he won't really know what he's doing with them. But um, Louis's favourite dessert, he doesn't really eat dessert, Louis. So I said, what would he eat? And apparently it's chocolate brownie with chocolate ice cream. So there we go. That's the start of our Sunday fun day. All right, what's the first step? Don't do it. <laughs> You've got to move that one over, have you? Yeah. That did move a bit. You can move that plant if you want. If that plant's in the way. I don't even know what plant that is. This one. Right. Aren't you going to lay the slab in first so that you know if they I need mean, if moving or moves, not? That's going to be all that. And if this comes back. Oh, I see. I'll tell you what, though. Whoever planted this here needed shooting because it's beautiful, but when it's sitting in full bloom in the summer, all the bees love it. And you can't get past, can you? No. No, it's, a bit of a... it's a stupid place to plant it. A bit but it is I would never dig it out because it's so lovely and the bees love it, but it's a stupid place, <laughs> is what I'm gonna say. Right, so that one's gone back. Now this one's out. It's all about the prep, isn't it? <laughs> Putting a level of sand on. Why do you have to put sand under the slabs? You don't. If you do, probably do concrete. Right. That'd be alright. We only want to walk over there to get to the water back. There's not a lot of water to be on it, so. No. We know that the slabs are different colours, but that's we don't like yellow slabs. Eventually, one day we can change all these um, to be the same as these. out here today isn't it it's not not um cold and horrible like yesterday um i've just been doing some weeding of my pots because my pots were covered and i've also moved some more pots over here this is podrick's pot here this is where podrick's buried so eventually Iny will go next to him um one day so i just moved this here I'm growing weeds for Artie, they're all weeds that he can eat, um, so I just moved those over there and then I've got this pot ready for some flowers that I can plant, let's see 
what Mark's up to. I think he's got the stones in. Yep, all the stones are in. Yeah. Look good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like I say, one day we can replace these pavements, these slabs with the grey ones. Yeah. But um, yeah, looks good. Gives another pathway up to the water butt. Yeah. So, extra. yeah. Hello, I'm back. We've just been, oh, bright light. We've just been to Perrywood's Garden Centre for a catch up with our friends Sam and Mark. We had tea and cake. I had a chocolate chip scone, which was very nice. Mark had a Biscoff flapjack. And yeah, we're just catching up on everything really. We haven't seen them since before Christmas, so we had a lot to catch them up on. <laughs> but it was nice, yeah, it was really nice. But I do, I said to Mark, I still feel flary. Like since, that's all right, it's my phone. Since the London trip, I'm still suffering and struggling so much. I feel sick, I feel tired, I feel achy. And I'm a bit fed up with it to be honest because I've had it now like since Tuesday. And I've just been reading some of your comments from last week's weekly. And a lot of you are saying, you know, that either you don't go out or if you do, you have to weigh up whether it's worth going out for the pain and the suffering afterwards. And I do get it. I do get it. But my advice is you've got one life. One life. <laughs> Live it. That's what I say. So I'm glad I went on Tuesday to London. I'm not regretting it. But I've learned that I won't do an evening show again. If I, if I go to London again, it will be a matinee and I'll need to write off the next week. <laughs> so, yeah, I've not been feeling the best today. I took some paracetamol before I went out, but I need to take something because I feel really sick. And I've still got to cook, well, Mark will cook, <laughs> the roast dinner for Louie and Holly. Holly should be home any minute, actually. It's quarter past four. She's been at work today, so she finishes at four. Mark's gone to pick Louie up and bring him back for the roast dinner so we've got to do that now but you know I'm just like all I want to do is sit on the sofa and fall asleep and now I've got to be sociable again <laughs> I've been sociable all afternoon and now I've got to do sociable again but there we go it'll be all right it'll be all right it'll be right <laughs> I'm gonna go and sort myself out psych myself up for round two, try not to throw up. <laughs> Did I tell you about the doctors? I spoke to the doctors, my, my doctor, about my pantoprazole, that's it. My, I spoke to the doctor about my pantoprazole and she said that you can basically get cancer from having reflux because of the, the acid coming up. So she said she thinks that I should stay on one a day, which seemed to be okay. And I've still reduced it by half, which is good. But she said to stay on, on one a day because she said you shouldn't be having to take Gaviscon every day. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just, I'm just taking one a day now, but yeah, I'm still feeling sick from that, plus flaring, plus everything else. Anyway, I think that's saying that Holly's coming home. So I shall go and, and chat to Holly and i will show you the roast dinner when it's all cooked right here we go so we've got pork chicken veg roasted veg roast potatoes yorkshire puddings and pigs in blankets with gravy can't quite fit the pork on the table <laughs> and poppy's jealous because poppy wants to come and have a roast dinner don't you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor Pops. I'll send it through the phone, all right? I'm fuming. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Manic Monday. <laughs> just absolutely shattered. Just taking some paracetamol because I've got a headache. I'm just still in this ongoing flare that I've had since the London trip. <laughs> but it was worth it. So, you know, we just roll with it. 
I'm just living on paracetamol extra at the moment. <laughs> but this morning, what I want to do is, in the process of trying to jazz Poppy's room up a bit, I have, if Poppy, if you're watching this, skip forwards, because otherwise you'll ruin the surprise. I have got her this light up pet net. These are the lights that I guess you put in it. This is a remote control, but it came with no batteries, so I've got to find a battery for it. And it's one of those round ones. Um, it's basically for her teddies. She's got more that are down the back of the bed. I've got to fish them out. And there's one over here. And I thought we'll, oh sorry, it's having trouble focusing. We'll use these. This is what her hanging chair used to be on. So we can use those to hang the pet net on and I've got a hook that I can use for the back one. So I'm going to try and assemble this now and put her teddies all in this and it lights up as well so she likes anything that lights up. So I'm going to have a go at assembling it. Da -da! Right, I have managed to put it up there um, and thread the lights through. This is the... <laughs> This is the battery pack, so I'm going to have to hook that over somewhere because we have got this remote, but like I say, I need to put batteries in it, so I've got to find that. And then she can do it, like turn it on and off from the remote. Um, now I'm going to put all her teddies in it. Holly's just retrieved some that were behind. They'd fallen down the back of her bed, and Hermione is absolutely covered, so I need to clean her first. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> We have got a clean behind our bed, it's filthy. And then I can put them all in the pet net. Right, disaster struck. My hook fell off. It's not strong enough to support it, so it needs another hook drilling into the wall, which Mark will be thrilled about. Because <laughs> it's not strong enough to support all the teddies. So I can't do that this morning, which has really wound me up. Right, now I have got Poppy's paint from her room. So this is the grey in Chic Shadow and this is the green in Edenberry from Good Home. That must be B&Q's. Is it B&Q's? I don't know. Anyway, that's Edenberry. And I've just seen, sorry about the noise, that's my washing machine going to take off. I don't know if you could pick up on here, but there's some patches on her wall that I've noticed that need touching up so I'm going to do that and then there's patches on her grey there's one here um, there's marks all down here so I'm just going to touch up some of her grey paint as well like I said I'm just trying to jazz up her room a little bit for when she comes home for the summer I also want to try and clear her windowsill because in the summer she likes to sit on her windowsill with her legs hanging out the window. <laughs> um, so I want to try and clear that so I thought I might get a shelf for up here because she's got this one and I might get another round one or I might, I don't know if I'll fit the frames on there, I might do but I'll see but I might get another shelf for this area but for now I'm going to do some painting. They do that day. Right, I thought we'd have a little bit of a catch-up. Hang on, let me just turn that, turn the tumble dryer off for a minute so you can hear me. Hang on, you've got something on there. Right, little bit of a catch-up. Monday catch-up. Castle, yes, last Friday, even though I was still in a flare-up, I went and did a shift, an hour shift at the castle, and I got six surveys done. So that was really good going. That's a good day, because previously I'd been like a few weeks ago and I'd got I didn't get one survey in the whole hour I just sat there I was like oh this is great isn't it <laughs> but um yeah I got six surveys done on Friday so I was really pleased with that and I like going because it makes me feel like I'm doing something I'm doing something to help the castle I'm doing something to help history but I am that person that everyone tries to avoid like who wants to do a survey I flipping don't <laughs> especially after you've been around a castle that's the last thing I want to do 
but yeah I'm, I'm that person that says oh can you just spare five minutes to complete this survey and most people do say yes so I am lucky I just get it's usually grumpy old men that say to me no don't want to do that I'm like okay no problem anyway so did the castle on Friday but of course I don't film Fridays I'm literally covered in dust from Poppy's room Poppy's room is so dusty I'm going to talk about Poppy's room in a minute as well mum so an update on my mum she's I don't know if I said but she had to go back into hospital she it was towards the end of last week um you know she had the urine infection she couldn't go for a wee uh, at all so or she was just doing a little bit and when they scanned her at the hospital her bladder was full and it was still showing infection because the tablets they'd given her were only two days I think she had six tablets of antibiotics and that was it so the hospital gave her like a 10 day course or whatever it is and they had to put another catheter in because they had to empty her bladder because they said if your bladder's not emptying the infected urine is just sitting in your bladder and that can cause sepsis so they had to put another catheter in so poor my poor dad has had two bags to empty over the weekend he's literally been a nurse because he has to measure everything and write it down as well <laughs> delightful so mum is going back into hospital today because she came home again even though she had a catheter in she came home again and dad's taken her back in she'll probably be there now and they're going to assess scanner again and see if she can have the catheter taken out but mum said her back still really hurts obviously it's like the kidney area isn't it so I said to her you know you're trying to fix one problem and it's caused another but there we go so that's as far as I've got with mum I don't know I think we were I was planning on going to see her this week I probably will still at some point just go in and pop and see her we were going to watch a film but I don't know if she'll be up to that or not I'll keep you posted during the week on that I'm going to go and see my real dad this week tomorrow in fact tomorrow morning I'm going to pop and see him but he's not been very good he sleeps all afternoon he's on like aura morph morphine so that makes you sleepy doesn't it but yeah I don't think that's all going very well so I'm going to go and pop and see him tomorrow morning right Cress, let me show you so remember we did this excuse the washing up on the draining board remember we did Hagrid's hut and the pumpkins so look how much it's grown <laughs> that's all the cress that you can use on your salad but the the pine nuts at the back haven't grown yet um, they take longer but yeah the cress is all grown nicely so I can cut that soon and put it on our salad I love cress I think it's so tasty so yeah I was pleased with that. I wanted to show you for Chloe and Luke as well because Chloe and Luke bought me this for Christmas and I wanted to show them how much it had grown. Right, okay, so Mark is going to drill that hole for me later and then I can put all her, <laughs> all her teddies fell out. I had them perfect and they all fell out so I wasn't best in please. So I've done all the touching up of the paint and this is where her telly usually is but her telly's at uni now so that will be coming back for the summer so we can stick that back on there um but yeah any suggestions see i was thinking because she's just got a blind because her bed's here and the shelf for her what do you call it her drink and that why we've never had curtains up here but i just feel it's quite bare without curtains now, I did think, well, you could have, like, the shorter drop ones, couldn't you? But would that cover there? I'm going to have to measure it because, obviously, she doesn't want this covered because she, she puts her water on there for the night. So if it came to sort of here, the curtains, it wouldn't be too bad. But I just thought curtains might soften it up. I know I'd have to take that picture, her Lego picture down, but that could always go above that one, couldn't it? But yeah, I don't know where, and then I thought, well, if I don't do curtains, what about getting some really nice sort of green fabric and almost coming from the corner and draping around the bed? But then I thought, well, that might be annoying. Like, I don't want it to get all caught up while she's sleeping and 
I don't know so just let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas what would make her room you know a bit more cozy <laughs> this is Holly's unit for her bedroom so we need to put this in the studio I need to get Mark to do that and I bought this pin board for Poppy because I wrote her do you remember all them positive notes well she loves them and I said well if I get this you can put all the positive notes all over the board but I haven't seen it yet to give it to her so I will do and I got her this in the sale um, it was reduced from 12 99 to £2.50 it's about the Women's World Cup so I need to give her that as well and I got her a photo printed of my mum and her uh, for her photo wall so that's these bits but yeah I mean she's had to have she could have a little bedside cabinet here instead of that in fact and not have this this is like for snacks this box here she's got all her snacks in there so she could have a bedside cabinet instead maybe and get rid of the shelf I don't know what do you think meanwhile so this is my project this afternoon this is what I'm doing I've got a ton of paints that I've just kept from other projects and as you can see I've just started to paint a few of the flowers but it's very therapeutic and like this cost me two pounds from the works and I'm probably going to give it to someone as a present but it's so therapeutic so I'm doing this while watching some things on the telly and then when it's dry I'll probably add some like embellishments to it because I think that makes it really stand out but yeah it's very nice I'm enjoying myself I just thought I'd show you the heart all finished with the painting. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll put the embellishments on afterwards. But it's so pretty, isn't it? And it's just so quick and easy. But yeah, I like that. I think it's really pretty. I might keep it myself. I don't know yet. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday. Pouring rain outside miserable which is annoying because I was hoping we could get the grass cut this week but it's going to be too wet still because it was lovely yesterday oh, but anyway I want to show you something that I've just collected this morning Ta -da! I got this free from the area I live in on Facebook marketplace how cool is this it wasn't I filled it that's all Bobby's palm of violets you can have them that one's empty how cool now we can have curtains because I've taken the shelf off look at the mark I'll have to do more painting now but not yet because Mark can take these screws out for me and fill the holes and look at this crack so that needs filling as well and then when he's done all that I'll touch up the paint but now we can get Bobby some curtains so there we go and I'll move this Lego picture to replace her drum pebble picture that I made for her um, so she's got all the Legos in a row but yeah I'm made up with that I just I think she's gonna love it she's absolutely gonna love it I do want to look for a smaller bin because I think if we have a little bin there because I've just stuck a bin there because it doesn't fit so if I get a smaller bin like a narrow one I'll look out because I'm going out next next week I'm going out with Mark's mum to some shops so I will have a look out then for a slimline bin but yeah I'm really pleased with that so there's oh the pet net as well so Mark put the hook up for me and I've put it all in um let's show you with the lights on hang on the lights are here hang on hang on bear with bear with hang on there we go how cool is that how cool is that the girls used to have these in their rooms when they were little but Poppy's like got so many cuddly toys and nowhere to put them and I just thought that was absolutely perfect the fact that the net's pink will sort of well it's supposed to be rain I chose the rainbow colored one and it's come out pinkly 
purple but the lights make up for it anyway so <laughs> yeah how perfect is that so she's got that so we can get her some curtains now oh her new lights up as well I'm still not sure about it I think it's too small it's so tiny but then I did say to Mark the room isn't massive so it doesn't matter that she hasn't got a massive light but yeah I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than that when I ordered it but never mind but yeah I'm, I'm really happy with this it's for free and it matches like the grey of her headboard and the grey of the walls I think she's going to love it to be honest he hasn't he still hasn't got much work at the moment because his boss is still off so he'll be glad of something to do probably let me just try and turn these lights off there you go so my plan today is to go and see my dad and my stepmum, see how they're getting on or not, as the case may be, because, you know, dad's not good, so <laughs> just go and see him, basically. I've got Pam's Mother's Day card to give her for Sunday as well, and some chocolates, and I've bought some cakes in case anyone wants one. So I'm going to go and do that in a little while. I've just got to go and feed the animals. And we're having chicken casserole in the slow cooker tonight, so I need to get that started as well. And then, when I come back later, I'm hoping to do the Easter Shelf of Dreams with you. Are you excited? Oh, I also wanted to show you, I'd fin I finished the flower heart yesterday, where is it? And I was really pleased with it, here. Hang on, let me put it down. Let me put it down. Look how pretty that is. And I've put all these embellishments on. So it sort of catches the light, you know. I really love it, but I I don't think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to give it as a present for someone. But I do like it. Um, and like I say... Easy craft, two pounds it cost me from the works. Had the embellishments, had the paints. There you go, job done. Oh, it's a bit dark, All right? <laughs> it's Easter decorating time. So this lot has got to come down and I've got to get my Easter box in. is an accurate representation of how I'm feeling <laughs> right I've got all the Easter gonks out I've got two the same because I think two people bought me the same gonk last Easter so they can go one each end maybe or something this I painted last year if you remember that 2023 um, got some little snow globes. They've got very cold out in the shed though. Might make them go a bit funny. And I think I got all these from the pound shop last year. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, there's a bit of glue on his beard. I'll cut that off. But I need to uh, suss out where I'm going to put me gonks and then I'll show you. Right, the shelf is done. Now we have this lot to find room for. So this is if you remember Lucy Rabbit who holds the mini eggs now who has heard the news that mini eggs are going to be discontinued as from next year that's what Mark and Poppy said mini eggs are going to be discontinued so if you love them buy as many as you can this year because apparently that's what it says it's going to be discontinued unless they just bring them out and rebrand them as something else I've um, got my carrot, squashed carrot garland from last year, so that can go up. got my little crocheted basket full of chicks and things. These Mark's mum made for me. I made this. 
I made these and then I've got two Easter trees to decorate. To be honest the girls used to do the Easter trees and Holly did one last year but she's not around today so I shall have to do it. Sign of the times. The girls aren't about to do the trees now. <laughs> it's down to me. Right, okay, everything is out and done. So this tree is done with all the little thingies. There's a little bunny, can you see through here? I've had him for ages. And then I'm gonna show you the shelf of dreams. So I'll show you it bit by bit and then I'll go back so you can see it. So I've got my flowers, my gonks, my bunnies, another gonk. Do you remember I painted that chick last year, the angry chick? <laughs> and then my beautiful bunnies with their carrot in the background, little ladybird lady, Buzzy Bee, the one that fell over. <laughs> and these three Poundland gonks and some flowers that my friend made for me. So, here we go. Here's a little back look at the shelf of dreams what do you think do we think i should add to the shelf of dreams two little hooks one each side and then i can hang maybe another pom-pom garland down here or some carrots or some sort of garland do you think that would look nice or do you think that would be overkill let me know in the comments what you think and then here we've got Lucy Rabbit and my little wind-up bunny that we've had since the girls were little. She's got no mini eggs in it. She's got no mini eggs in there at the moment, but she will have. I will buy some. Don't you worry about that. And they will last probably a day. But that's this side of the room. So what you reckon? What do you reckon to me shelf of dreams? I've got the grass mat down there. So here is the windowsill of wonder. So added to this is an Easter pick and a one there. Then I've got the chick and the hens, the chick and the hens, chicks and hen. <laughs> I've got all these little guys. They were from Poundland as well, but they're quite hard to stand up. And then my little nest of creatures. And then we come up and this is the one of the reefs that I made. It is losing some of its eggs, so I'll have to replace those eggs at some point. Then we come to the mini Easter tree, and it's got all these little tiny, <laughs> sort of very vintage looking decorations on with these mini carrots. I have no idea where I got the mini carrots from. I think I got them last year from somewhere, but I flipping love them. I love anything with carrots on for Easter. Love it. And then are you going to be able to see? Yes. This is the pom-pom garland I made years ago with the pom-pom reef. I thought that looked quite nice all together there. I didn't use the carrot garland. It was just a bit too squashed. So the actual thingy, you know, the star of the show has got to be the shelf of dreams. But let me know what you think about putting the hooks either side of the window and hanging down an Easter garland because I am going shopping with my mother-in-law on Monday to Home Bargains and B&M and places and Poundland so I could get something to hang across there. I'd have to measure it. I think it's a couple of metres wide that, looking at it. Or it might be a little bit more than that. But yeah, I just think it might add to it. Good morning, happy towel wash Wednesday. Towels have been washed. Oh, I didn't turn the last lot of washing on. I'll have to ask Mark. Mark's still at home, he hasn't got any work today, which isn't great. 
Um, I've just had a telephone appointment and now I'm going to go and see my mum and see how she's doing. Saw my dad yesterday, I don't know if I mentioned, but he didn't have a good day the day before, but he was all right when I saw him, but well, it was all right as you can be, I guess. Let's go and see how mum is doing. And I've got my lunch to take with me because <laughs> I'm starving. And then when I come back, I think Mark and I are gonna go and look for some uh, curtains for Poppy's room. Two hours later. Oh, we're just coming to B&M to try and find some curtains for Poppy. Um, I'll update you on my mum later. Big suit, Mark. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I found that if I was a suit Oh, they like these. One ninety nine. It's quite a deal, actually. Nibble sticks. Rabbit. Oh, they're not for the rabbit. These are the guinea pig ones. Guinea pig set. Easter eggs. Oh, mum wanted cards. She wanted a pack of cards. Six. She wanted eight, I think. They're quite cute. Look we'll at those. No luck in uh, B&M. No curtains. No curtain poles. So we've come to Sainsbury's for a look now, haven't we? And we'll go have a cup of tea while we're here, you know, it'd be rude not to. <laughs> right, what have we got? We've got bedding. Around the other side, do we think? More bedding. More bedding. <laughs> well, I like that for us. That one's nice. 20 pounds in the clearance. Oh, it's a single though. That's no good for us. I bet they haven't. I think it's just bedding. Oh, Easter. Easter, Easter, look at that. Look how cute that is, but ten pounds. <gasps> right, we're looking at Argos. They're quite nice. Yes. Yeah. That's a nice colour, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it is Isla, isn't it? <coughs> 46, 40, yeah, that's the right islets, yeah. Yeah, should we go for them? Yeah. Right, Mark and I are doing a lodge, guys, and sharing a toasted tea cake. Well, they call it toasted currant, don't they? Oh, yeah. Toasted currant tea cake. But it's a really good one. But I could only manage half of it. And I've got a Diet Coke, because I'm thirsty. Mark's having a coffee. And we're looking out onto the car park, but we've got the pole, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Got the pole, yeah. ordered the curtains, so we've got to pick them up in the week. Right, we are home. We are home, we've got the curtain pole, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, keep that receipt in case we need it. Just show you the few bits we got from B&M. So for the guineas, I bought them some little treats and these sticks that you tie to the cage because they like those um nibble sticks they're called carrot and dandelion so they will like those and we're going to try one of these chocolate orange mini eggs crushed mini eggs so that will be nice hopefully i got these these are my favorite i love the sweet and salty ones the pop pop works popped crisps and had to get mum some Easter cards. I didn't get those bunny ones because then I saw these money wallets and she wanted money wallets. So I got two packs of those for her. And then the last thing I got were two bags of mini eggs for Lucy Rabbit. Isn't it true that they're gonna be discontinued, Mark? Oh, that's what I heard, yeah. That's what Mark's heard. But got two bags. They will probably last two days, I reckon. Because if Holly comes in and sees that Lucy Rabbit has eggs in, she will be pinching some. And I know Mr. Lord will be pinching some. <laughs> but I'll let you know what this one's like. Um, just been, like I say, I went to see my mum this morning and she's not feeling the best. I think the antibiotics they put her on 
are the ones that I can't have because they make me really sick so I don't think they've agreed with her either but yeah she's not feeling the best on them so hopefully she's on them until Friday and then hopefully she'll go back to the hospital and they will say whether she can have her catheter out or not. Guys there's a robin in the garden let me try and zoom in for you he's right there look look he's having a lovely time I was just oh it's just flown away no is he oh I was just going to feed the guineas and um I was like is that a robin I haven't seen a robin in the garden for so long and he was having a lovely time like pecking all the seed off the off the floor oh that's made my day <laughs> happy weird Thursday everybody it is weird Thursday I've got to f fill up the bird feeders because I'll tell you what come with me come with me they need filling up and I want to make sure I've got some food there for little Robin and his friends hang on I'm balancing the bowl on my arm <laughs> How is everyone on this weird Thursday? Oh, I felt really rubbish yesterday and I'm not talking fibro-wise, I'm talking mentally. <laughs> Hang on, I'm balancing it. Yes, I'm coming. Can you hear him? I'm coming, boys. Hang on, I've got to come in here. I went to see mum yesterday and I went to see my dad the day before. I'm putting you in the fridge. Hopefully it won't be too cold. And it was just a lot. Um, not saying seeing them, I'm saying seeing them in that state. Like mum, to me, looks worse than when she was in hospital, but she is on these horrible, horrible antibiotics that I can't take. So that's probably why she looks rough and feels rough. And I'm hoping when she stops them, she'll start feeling better. But like she said to me yesterday, if she'd have known what she had gone through with all this, she would never have had it done. So, you know, it's all a bit of uh, trial and error at the moment, but seeing them both, like both of my parents at the same time in different homes, looking and feeling rubbish, it's hard. Um, you just want to take it away from them and not so much feel it yourself because I've, I've got enough to contend with but take their pain away and take how rubbish they're feeling away and I can't do that and that's that's quite hard you know anyway my battery's flashing let me go feed the guineas and then we'll fill up the bird feeders I think that's just about you can just about see me under this bag <laughs> right got my fat balls these are the fat balls that the birds like and I use no grow mix for the bird seed. That's the one that doesn't, you know, grow other things in the ground when it falls onto the ground because that's very annoying. Still does a little bit. It's never a hundred percent, but it's better than. Whoa! 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 Everything's falling on me. That can go down there for a minute. Everything's falling on me, but I'm, I'm determined to have a better day today, mentally. I need to because I can't carry on how I was yesterday and the day before, to be honest. I need to sort myself out and um, think more positively. And... Uh, yeah, back on with my life because all of this isn't going to go away very soon and the more I let it affect me, the worse it's going to be. So, by the way, you know I said I had two shows to go to this week in the evening. The first one is tomorrow night and obviously I don't film on a Friday so you won't be seeing that but I can review it for you on Saturday in the next weekly. Um, I'm going to the Ipswich Theatre to see Woman in Black with Holly. Mark's driving us because I'm not good at driving at night. And yeah, we're going to go and see that. And then Saturday, 
I'm going to see a dancing show with Mark's sister and mum. So I will review all that in Saturday's next weekly. Right, these are now full, even though I had a bag full on my head. Let's hang these out for little Robin and anyone else, all his friends. I do get through a lot of bird feed, do you? If you feed the birds. There we go. I need to get some more of these log rolls as well. Right, I'm actually having breakfast. I'm having eggs and soldiers because I really fancy dippy eggs. And it's only half past nine and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna have some breakfast today. I know, shock horror. <laughs> I don't know if I showed you the curtain pole we bought Poppy yesterday, but you can't really see the end of it. I really wanted a black one to match her black light and black thingy, but they were all sold out. So we went with this one instead. Um, I can't show you the ends. I think they're in here, but they're just ball, silver ball ends. So I need to move that picture and then Mark's going to put the pole up there and I ordered the curtains from Argos. I think they're going to be a pretty good colour match to them. If they're not, I can take them back, it doesn't matter. And then I need to get another shelf to clear her windowsill. But I think the curtains are going to make such a difference. So obviously you're not going to see it in this vlog, but you will probably see it in next week's. But I'm really pleased with her bedside cabinet. So that meme or whatever it is that I use two hours later is about right. It's probably about three or four hours later actually. I've been editing. I've had some bad news. My dad, my real dad is in hospital. He had two falls yesterday and became unresponsive. Ambulance has taken him into hospital. So I may well have to go there today and see him, but I'm just waiting for my stepmum to let me know what's going on. It's difficult because I want to go there and my sister's in Norfolk and she's like, shall I come over? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to rush in because he was still in A&E this morning. So I don't even know if he's been put on a ward yet. And I don't want to go rushing in and crowd the place you know and overstep the mark with my stepmum you know I just want I don't want to upset anybody and I know it's my dad but I'm just trying to do the right thing all the time you know anyway I will let you know in next week's weekly how things are I'm sorry that I've been a bit low <laughs> and like I've just edited myself saying I need to pick myself up mentally and I really do but it's really hard it is really hard but I am trying my best to pick myself up mentally not just for me for you for everybody so I, I am trying my best I promise <laughs> anyway hope you've enjoyed this it's been a right um what do you call it a makeover the bungalow vlog hasn't it I've been sorting out Poppy's room sorting out lights sorting out the garden sorting out everything putting the Easter stuff up <laughs> There was me thinking I'm never going to have enough footage this week and I've got loads so there you go. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up if you have. Leave me a nice comment. Subscribe for future videos and I will see you all on Wednesday. Have a lovely weekend. Hope mine improves. <laughs> Take care. Bye.